Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another how to install video on the channel today. In this video, I will be showing you how to download the latest version of Third Age Reforged. Now, not much in the install process has changed since my last how to install video for Third Age Reforged. However, I've gotten quite a few requests to cover the newest version of Reforged, which is currently 0.97.1. So let's go ahead and dive into the installation process. So the first thing we need to do is to navigate to our Medieval 2 Total War folder and delete the old Third Age because it's not compatible. Uh, this is a standalone hotfix, the 97.1, so we don't want the other one to conflict. So for Steam users it's, uh, who have it on their local C drive, it's going to be local C, program files 86, down to Steam, and then Steam Apps, Common, and then you should see Medieval 2 in here, and then mods. And for non-Steam users, disk users, who have an old Sega version, it would be Local C, Program Files 86, and then you should see a Sega folder right about here. But for me, I've got it on my local G drive, so I'm going to go Steam Game, Steam Apps, Common, down to Medieval 2 Total War, and then into Mods. And then this one here, we're going to hit Delete. And we're going to get rid of that one completely because it's the same file folder name. So if we do install the new Third Age Reforged into this, it might conflict. So let's just get rid of it right from the get-go. And then while that's going on, uh, or actually it's almost done here. Let's go ahead and just minimize that because you'll need to come back to here afterwards. And let's go to moddb.com. So just load up the ModDB webpage, and then in the search bar here, start typing in Third Age Reforged. It's the second one down here. And then navigate over to the Files tab. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> that is the wrong Files tab. Files tab down here, my apologies. And then find Third Age Reforged, the standalone, and click on that. And take note of the file size here, 5.35 gigabytes. That is the file size that we should have in our download once it's finished. So let's go ahead and click download now. And then it should pop up in the left-hand corner of the screen here. There we go. And you can see that it's yeah, 5.3 gigabytes, so it's going to be pretty close. So I'm just going to let this download for a few minutes, and then I'll make a cut and then bring it back to you once it's almost done. All right, so once that file finishes downloading, we can go ahead and exit out of Google Chrome. And then I'm just going to navigate over to my downloads folder here, but I've also got the mods folder open as well. So I should be able to bring up two of them here. There we go. So navigating over to our downloads folder, most of you just go to your computer and then you'll see your downloads folder here. And you should have the third age reforged file and it's 5.34 gigabytes. I believe the projected size was 5.35. So that's very, very close. So it should be fine. But if it's saying something like 4.0 or 2.7, obviously you've lost a lot of your download. So you could have had an internet interruption or your firewall settings are too high and it's blocking the, uh, the download. So go ahead and delete it and then re-download. But if you have this within relative range, it should be fine. And a side note too, if you just have a blank piece of paper here and you don't have these three books with the belt around it, chances are you don't have any extraction software. You can see if I hover over it, it says type is a WinRare archive. So basically what this is, is a packed file. So you need to get some kind of extraction software to be able to unpack this file. So it's very easy. You can just go to Google, type in WinRare download and it's free. You can download it and you can have it forever. Two other alternatives are WinZip and 7-Zip. 7-Zip uh, is actually quite nice and easy to use, but they're all pretty user-friendly. And then uh, if you need help opening this on when you download WinRare, just right-click on it, and then you should be able to say open with WinRare. WinRare. <laughs> it's almost a tongue twister in itself. It'll always ask you to pay, but you don't have to. You just hit X, and then we're going to take these four files and just drag them over to our desktop here because these aren't the actual files that go into the mods folder. These are the files that we need for the installation process. So we're gonna pop them all here, which is perfect. And then we can go ahead and close our mods folder because we won't need that anymore. But I want this to be open because I want you guys to visually see the third age reforge folder being installed into the mods folder. And the reason that I do this is because a lot of times in the comments down below, many people who've had issues and left comments on my videos uh, saying that it wasn't working or they couldn't find it, it was because they didn't download it into the correct folder. 
So that meant that their pathway was wrong. But if we have this open while we go through the process and you can visually see that the third age reforge folder drops into the mods folder, then we know 100% that it's in the right place. So that's why I've started to just leave this open so you guys can visually see where it's supposed to go instead of just trusting the install pathway. But anyways, I'm getting on a little bit of a tangent. Uh, so right here, we're going to double click on the third age reforge exe to open the installer. And here it is, we're going to hit next. And then the password is Melon, M-E-L-L-O-N, which is the Elvish word for friend. And then hit install. And there we go. You can see that it's automatically dropped it right into my folder. And if you're doing this for the first time, it will ask you for the pathway. But again, the pathway is the exact same as when we were looking to delete the old Third Age Reforge. So I'll put it up at the bottom of the screen again for Steam users. It's local C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, medieval 2, mods. And for disk users, it's C, Program Files 86, Sega, Medieval 2, Mods. But you can see that that has dropped the new Third Age Reforge folder right into where we need it to be. So I'm going to make another little cut here, and we'll come back once this install process is almost complete. All right, guys, we're just finishing up here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and click Finish. And then just go into your Third Age Reforge folder and just make sure that you have everything here like I have. So if you're missing anything, you might have to go through the download again. So you should have everything that I've got in the Third Age Reforge folder. And this is the file here that you use to launch the game. So you could double click on this and it would launch it. Or you can right click on it and click Create a Shortcut, which will bring it to the desktop. And then you can double click on that and launch the game. But for Steam users, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to set the launch options so that you guys can just click on Medieval 2 and then just launch the game that way. So scroll till you find your Medieval 2 here and right click on it and go to Properties and then set launch options. And then you just have to type in dash dash features dot mod equals mods. Uh, slash or backslash third underscore age underscore reforged just as shown so that's what you have to type in and then obviously you would just click OK there and what this does is it actually tells the medieval 2 game to look in the mods folder look in the third age reforge folder and then use that bat file to launch the game so anytime you go into steam and you click medieval 2 total war and click play it will launch third age reforge now if you want to play medieval 2 again just go back into the launch options and just remove all of this and then hit OK, and it will reset back to the default launch options and allow you to play Medieval 2 Total War. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys that, but I'm just going to jump in using the Reforged Bat file, and uh, we can jump into a campaign and do what I usually do, run through a couple turns, go into a battle, just make sure nothing crashes. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, welcome to Third Age Reforge 0.97.1. Let's go ahead and jump into a campaign very quickly to show that everything is working. Uh, we'll just jump in as Mordor because I think we have a quick battle at Eastern Osgiliath that we could do. There we go, loaded in. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in over here. I think we've got these guys which we can move into Eastern Osgiliath. Uh, it's owned by rebels right now, but let's go ahead and siege it. They should sally out on the end turn there. And uh, let's just build a couple of things as well, just to simulate that we're ending the turn. I don't really care what. Spend, spend all our money. Uh, I could actually probably bring in uh, this guy as well. There we go, and let's end the turn. And surprisingly, they didn't sally out. Very interesting. Uh, maybe I have too many troops here, so let's actually pull 
pull this guy back, but it's okay actually because I did want to uh, show you guys a quick end turn to show that it didn't crash on the end turn there. So I'll just uh, click uh, build on a couple of other things here. Oh, that's all the money we have. And end the turn again. Uh, sure, why not? There we go, that's what I wanted. Perfect. Yeah, so now they feel like they can beat us, so let's go ahead and jump into the battle. Just to show you guys that we could load in fine too, because some people have issues with crashing on campaign load in, and some people have issues with crashing on going into battles. So I like to just prove that, you know, my way of installation, it works for both. And there we go. Loaded in without any problems whatsoever. Let's bring our troops forwards here. Bring the Witch King and have him charge right in. But we have successfully completed the new patch of Third Age Reforged 0.97.1. So hopefully this has helped any of you guys out that were having some issues with the installation. And if you do have any other issues, please leave a comment down below and I will try and help you out to the best of my abilities. But also please watch the entire video before you comment because I do get a lot of comments from people that ask questions when they could have just watched the video to get the answer. So I know I, it's understandable and you want to quickly get into the game, but uh, skipping through the video very quickly and then making a mistake and then asking a comment about it, uh, it's not really going to get you to play the game very quickly. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.